This is a Choose Your Own Adventure DUI edition, part 32. Play along, see how you do being pulled over suspected of a DUI. Now I've had something to drink tonight, but I'm not really intoxicated and I think I'm below the legal limit. So when the cop asked me, how much have you had to drink tonight? I told him, I had a couple drinks a few hours ago, but totally good to drive. But he didn't believe me. And he asked me, just so I know that you're good to drive, would you mind stepping out for a field sobriety test? So I agreed. Field sobriety test? Sure, I'll give it a shot, why not? And I was out of the car, on the road, heel to toe, arms at my side, performing the roadside gymnastics that they call the field sobriety test. Now, it's not a test, as you know, it just gave him more evidence to confirm my intoxication. So when he asked me, would you mind performing a portable breath test? I politely declined to take the portable breath test. I've already been giving him enough evidence, I didn't want to add to it. So now the officer has to make some decisions. Based only on what he's seen so far, does he have enough evidence to arrest me? Is that the probable cause he's been looking for? And unfortunately, after all the research I've done and all the officers and all the lawyers I've talked to, there really isn't much choice here. Once he has you out of your car, you're not going back in it. You're going to the back of his in a set of bracelets. Hands behind your back, you are getting arrested for a DUI. In this case, I am. This surprises people. They think that they could perform the roadside sobriety test and somehow convince the officer that they're sober. That is not how it works. You can't prove to an officer you're sober. You can just give him pieces of evidence to prove that you are intoxicated. And once he suspects that and asks you out to do a field sobriety test, it'd be almost impossible for him to let you go back in the car. In fact, I didn't find anybody who's ever had that experience. So go ahead and put that in the comments if that's you. But now, go ahead and make a choice. I think because I'm getting arrested now, maybe I can stop him and say, hey, I will take that breathalyzer test because I'm gonna blow below the legal limit. Maybe he'll unarrest me. Go to part 39. Or do I just shut up and let my lawyer deal with it? Go to part 36. 